Darn it. You can't go to hell if you say damn it. Just say oh, damn Oh, I don't think I am. I just don't like it. I don't like how it sounds. Say damn it. No. Let's do this interview, okay? Let's do it. How much uh, <laughs> video experience would you say you guys have? <clears throat> Define video experience. Like what kind of like, like shooting filming? Them. Yeah. Um, I shot a couple. I shot Macbeth. I wrote. I did like a rewrite, a modern version of Macbeth, and it was like 20 minutes long. I did it in high school, and I was the writer, director, and cinematographer. But that was about it. And then our three minute. But Dylan shot it, so I mean, I have like barely any. I'm a writer. I don't have to know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd say I have a fair amount of uh, knowledge of it. <coughs> I was the managing editor in my television show we had back in my high school, and. Um, and, uh, you know, I knew how to import video, I know how to edit, and uh, I certainly know how to shoot, so. Aren't you special? Um, <laughs> between, like, um, celluloid and digital, which would you say that you like more? Celluloid. Definitely yeah. celluloid, yeah. It's just, it's <laughs> awesome, and <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's old, and... It's just so much, you know, history there, you know, I hope it never never becomes obsolete, I don't want it to be around forever. I think, you know, if you want to analyze the difference between celluloid and digital, you know, celluloid, you just, you, you can see the shadows, you know, you can see the texture and the frames, you know, it has that vibration when you're watching it on the big screen that digital just doesn't have, you know. I mean, I like, I like the grain, and I, it has... It just has like that magic touch you can't get from digital. I don't know. Do, do you see digital ever beating out? I think, I, I was actually talking with um, one of our cinematography teachers here, John LeBlanc. Um, I was talking to him about it, and he thinks there's going to be a balance of both in the future, which I kind of, you know, I actually at one point I thought digital would probably take over celluloid. But, you know, you kind of think about it, and I think there will be a balance someday, you know. There will be people that still want to watch, you know, films on celluloid, even though they'll be digitally projected, because I think someday it'll be, you know, 100% all digital projection. But um, I think there'll be a balance between shooting uh, films on digital and celluloid. Uh, and I think there's this kind of silent war going on in Hollywood right now. You have some filmmakers who are advocates of digital, and then some or advocates of celluloid, and uh, it's just going to be a process and a time, um, and it's going to take time, so. My thoughts, making them as concise as they can be, is both have pros and cons, so I don't know, we'll just have to see. I kind of agree with Shannon. Um, well, building off that, what pros do you see that celluloid has over digital? I think I answered this in Shannon's interview was like, I thought, I think it's just like the history, hey, shut up, <laughs> nice, give me dirty looks, um, it's just, there's a whole lot of, you know, it's, it's sentimental, you know, when you, cellular is just so awesome, and it was, you know, the first thing ever used, and, but then digitals, you know, it can, I don't know, I mean, digital, what's so great about digital again? I mean, I don't even know. Well, it's a very clear, bright image. Yeah, where, you know, celluloid, it, it has that contrast. You know, you can see the shadows. You can see um, the different uh, aspects on the screen. You know, and it has layers where digital is just a bright image. Um, Everything's, like, clearly defined and, it, and whatnot, but I don't yeah, know. I mean... It, it kind of takes you out of the experience a little bit, you know. I think... That's what I think. Mm. I think the advantages of digital, uh, certain things, you know, for digital projection, like we were talking about 3D, 3D process, you know, that can be incorporated um, into it, and a lot of new filmmakers, like Robert Zemeckis and James Cameron, um, and George Lucas are, you know, incorporating, are going to incorporate this in their future films, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, do you think celluloid, the relationship between celluloid and um, true artistry. Do you see any relationship between the two? As far as, like, do you think you could make a art, artful, you know, digital film? Is that what you mean? Like... Uh, well, like, it, it seems like, uh, like Steven Spielberg yeah. only shoots on 35. Yeah. 
uh, as does Martin Scorsese. Yeah, so like these... These movies aren't artful. These prominent artists that are yeah. refusing to go digital. Yeah. So it's like, do you think that it's going to become sort of this thing that's so expensive that only the really good people are going to go for? It is very expensive. Like, that's a con, I suppose. Yeah, that's true, too. I, I don't know. It's... Like I said, I think there's going to be a balance in the future, you know, because people are saying now that they're getting to a point, you know, I think we were talking about the Red One camera the other day, where they're getting to a point where digital is coming very close to look, you know, like film, and I don't know, I mean, I don't know if they'll ever reach that point, they, they might, and, you know, people are saying they, they already are, you know, filmmakers like Cameron and... Lucas are saying that, but I just feel that audiences are smarter than that, and they're going to be able to tell, and there's going to be a demand of this films still shot on, you know, celluloid. So, I don't know, I think there's going to be a balance, and I don't think filmmakers are going to, I mean, there's such a strong um, response out of student filmmakers, you know, us, <coughs> who are coming out of film schools now, who are going to be the future of the industry, and I would say 99% of us, you know, don't want to shoot on digital. I think, so, I think in that way, there's going to be a little battle going on. And I think we're going to still keep celluloid alive in some way. Well, I like to go back to your question. I think, um, as far as artistry goes, with both different kinds of, you know, shooting techniques, um, I think that there's things you can do with digital that you cannot do with celluloid, because, you know, you get that and you get your basic look or whatever. But, I mean, like, with digital, you can do all kinds of stuff on Final Cut. Like to change the look of you know your movie like all like colors and stuff like that you know that I know it has it, that's kind of cool so I think you can make a an artsy movie that's digital you know it's possible but it's just you know I don't know I mean, that's what I think I think you can, it's just art films aren't just shot on celluloid it's possible with digital that's my that's my well opinion. yeah I mean I I agree I think you can make an artful film on digital yeah. it's just that feeling yeah know, it's, it's tradition a, it's a different experience I mean I think people. People can tell the difference.